my creatives and welcome to another video so today i'm here to share an art junk journal process video with you and we are going really crazy with the mixed media uh, i'm starting off using these um this tim holtz tissue paper absolutely love it i believe it's the entomology one absolutely love this so this is the first thing that i'm going to do and starting my background unfortunately <laughs> we will not see anything of this uh in the end uh, and i will tell you why because this page really was a struggle it was such a struggle it was unbelievable uh, i will take you through the whole process and tell you what things really shook me or didn't go as well and i will tell you how i fixed that I use, usually work very intuitive, intuitively and sometimes that is very very wonderful and sometimes well things don't really go as you thought or you don't know how to move forward and that is what I'm going to share with you today so I as you know I love to start with collage because that gives me a feeling for the page it's also very nice background texture and I just really wanted to play with this new tissue paper now I'm adding a layer of gesso to prepare my pages for some paints. And uh, I also did this because I'm working on very thin paper in this junk journal. So these papers are also not made for mixed media, which is a very fun uh, piece of paper to work on because, well, you can of course do mixed media on paper that is not meant for mixed media. Moving on, I am going to use my Distress Paints and I'm going to, well, paint them on my page with a dry brush because Distress Paints do react with water and uh, I wanted to have a very nice coat on my page so I didn't use any water, it's a dry brush. Uh, so first, this was going pretty well and uh, I picked two colors. If you want to know what I used, everything is listed down below in the description box and if I can find it online, there are also links. But I found these two colors and they fit in my mood and I thought, yes, I'm, I'm feeling it. This is, this is going very nicely. I was very, uh, well, dreamy and peacefully and I'm feeling it like that. And then I took another color and I started to make stripes. Uh, I love making marks. I think they are really, really fun. It also gives a lot of texture to your page, but it's also yours, which is the part that makes it the most fun. So I added these marks. I was like, oh, that's well pretty dominant color so i added another pretty dominant color uh peacock feathers i believe and i just drew in some plus signs with my brush and uh until i was going to this point i was still very happy with what i was uh creating i was feeling it i was really feeling the mark making i'm very much enjoying that lately and i was just enjoying myself and then uh of course well i need to do some more things so i decided to take my favorite stamp uh text stamp and a stamp with shadow gray to create some more texture and also this was still just fine i was totally feeling it and i'm very was very much enjoying myself uh, while doing this and then uh, there was a point that i thought well what to do next and then um things <laughs> i don't know what happened i totally lost what i was doing and i started to second guess myself and i didn't know how i wanted to continue forward so i took the stamp and i took plum uh, which is a pretty much the same color as the stripes and i don't know it was just too much <laughs> i added this and it was just too much on the page and i was like no this is not what i wanted but you know every original page goes through this ugly phase so i was like okay well i'm just going to move forward and i'm going to use my new tim holt stamp wildflower i'm going to stamp with walnut stain distress oxide this flower and i hated it i absolutely hated it so i took my baby wipe and i just wiped it off because well the distress oxides are of course water reactive and uh, my page is non-porous so i could wipe it off and then i don't know why <laughs> i did this i decided to um do the walnut stain around my uh, page and i don't know i don't know what i was thinking uh, i do i did like it or i didn't it was very very weird so i sprayed it with some water to get a chalky finish you know with the distress oxides uh, but i was it was starting to really go to a weird place and um really going into that ugly phase so i thought well i really wanted to use that wildflower stamp maybe i can fix it by stamping these flowers around the outsides of my pages 
with some archival ink so they are more permanent and they will stand better on my page so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to finish everything and i'm using the same stamp in several places to create somewhat of a wreath i do think this is a very cool technique to do and i think it looks very nice but it wasn't what i wanted so while creating this i was like kira i don't know but i'm one if i do something i commit so I committed to this and uh, <laughs> you guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I was completely lost after I did this. So what I want to share with you today is that I also create things and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so it, it sometimes looks so easy for me, right? On, on YouTube and I'm sharing my videos and it looks like I always know what I'm doing. Which is not true, because with this particular page, I was I was so lost. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was feeling. I didn't know what I wanted to, to create. And I didn't know what supplies I wanted to use. And sometimes that works out for the better. And sometimes it works out for the worst. And this was uh, pretty much uh, something that I didn't want. Because I didn't know how to continue with this. I didn't know how to create this, what I'm creating now, into one spread that feels finished because that is of course what we are always attempting right when we are art journaling is to create something that feels finished and that feels good to us and that looks pleasing to our eyes right or it just fits i didn't know how to continue this but like i said if i commit i commit and i always go on and i do not abandon my pages because i'm a firm believer that you can always fix your pages you can always cover st stuff up and you can always fix your pages and that's also with this page because in the end it does look pretty cool but it was nothing <laughs> of what i planned on doing so I decided, well, that's a lot of brown and it's uh, quite dark. So I'm going to add some uh, titanium buff light with this Harlequin stencil from Tim Holtz. I thought, well, maybe that would fix it a little bit. And I just created another layer. But I don't know. I also cannot explain it really. I think there was something off. This page was so off for me and I just couldn't figure it out. Um, and I think a lot of us do have that. And here I go in with some sprays. I don't know where I thought that there was a good idea, but I went in with my sprays. I just, I just went for it. And um, I'm spraying them and I'm making drips. And I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm going for it. Let's see where this will take me. Um, so never be afraid to experiment. And if you create something, you are like, I don't know what I did continue you can always cover it up and uh, maybe you will create something fun now i'm going in with some modeling paste i haven't used modeling paste in a very very long time i'm going to use this crackle stencil all around the outside of this page i don't know guys i was so lost <laughs> it was a crazy uh, crazy page but uh, that's okay and that happens and it also happens to me so don't worry if this happens to you just push on forward and uh, after I am done with my modeling paste I walked away for a day or two I don't know how long but I, I walked away because uh, well the, of course this modeling paste had to dry and I <laughs> looked at my page and I absolutely did not know what to do next I just didn't and then I came back, uh, I think at, at least one day later, maybe even two. And I decided I need something to cover this up a little bit because it's just too much. So I went through my magazines and I found this beautiful black and white photo of this beautiful uh, woman. And I thought, well, she's pretty big, which is nice uh, because I need to cover up some parts of this page because it's just too much. There's too much going on. There's no balance. There's no, I just, I just couldn't figure it out, which of course fits with me and my life because I feel very unbalanced at the moment. So it does fit <laughs> um, and fit my, fits my feelings. So it's really fun that you can see that reflection again in my art and that is usually what you can see in my art uh, marie one of the uh, wonderful uh, ladies uh, subscribers and patrons that has been following me for the beginning that i started my youtube channel she was always able to see how i was feeling in my art journal pages and i think a lot of you can see uh, i definitely see it because in this page i see that i am feeling unbalanced and you can see that in my pages and that i feel like i don't know what i'm doing um 
which is which is okay because uh, that is why I art journal to get those feelings out. But to go back to my page, I decided that I needed something big to cover a big part up because I wasn't able to figure out the balance in this page. And I took this a beautiful woman. Now she is a glossy paper and I do not like that. So I always add a layer of matte medium on top of them. But it also helps me uh, in the case that I'm adding this shadow and you see it go on the picture. Now I'm able to take a baby wipe and just wipe it off because I created a non-porous surface. And that way I can have a clean crisp edge on my photograph and um, just remove the shadow a little bit. So here I was starting to feel it a little bit because I was feeling like there's going to be a foreground and a background and I'm going to have a little bit of depth in my page and I decided to also add this gelato on the outside. And this was really the moment that I said, okay, I'm finding my groove, I know what I'm doing, I'm actually going to like what I'm doing and that is also what I want to give you today. Do not give up on your page because there will be a point that you like what you are doing. It m will be a struggle <laughs> and maybe not as enjoyable as other times but it is a something very valuable if you um, do not like what you create but you do work through it. I went through my stash and I found these butterflies that were sent to me. Now I thought that they were too black and white or too black and white and gray. So I decided to take my walnut stain and I'm going to color all of them. First I thought I just wanted to do the edges but then I took a better look and I decided no I'm going to color the whole butterfly. I do think I prefer that and I do because it gives me the feeling that they are part of this page and uh, they are not just stuck on there so after I colored all of them I decided to stuck them stick them down and moving forward with that so this is the point that I thought okay this is going somewhere I'm feeling it but I'm still missing something because it didn't feel connected to me so I decided to take my titanium buff and a a brush and just go for some mark making and with the mark making I'm making sure that I am overlapping certain places but also to put marks uh, so there is this visual line you are going through uh, when you see them and uh, the marks really really helped because they gave a lot of depth and they connected a lot of the pieces together and that was really what I needed so after I did that I'm drying it off and I'm taking another mark making tool. I'm taking my Posca paint marker and this is a silver color. Uh, I took a silver because she's black and white. And I decided to make more marks and overlap things and overlap her. And after I did that, I totally felt this page. I was like, yes, this, this is it. And uh, is it my best page? I don't think so. If I would only post my best pages, I think I would post a video every two or three months. Uh, but it was a good process and in the end I do kind of like it. I added this uh, dilutions sticker, quote sticker that says I'm still kind of a mess but aren't we all? Uh, because I do feel a little bit like a mess at the moment. This page was a mess but I think that I'm not the only one. So uh, I'm being kind to myself and uh, that's okay. Using my Stellar Pigment Liner to do a doodly border around the words. And then that is my page for, day, for today after I added my date. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got something out of it. And that you are motivated to continue working on your pages. Because even I create very big ugliness. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I would also live it, love it if you'd consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Put the notification bell on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. You can also become a patron of mine and that would really help me and my creative journey. You can find a link for that down below in the description box. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!